What a beautiful day for caravanning. 24 degrees, sun shining, yeah, a few birds, perfect. And we're here at the beautiful Goulburn River Tourist Park, right on the banks of the mighty Goulburn River, out the back. And why we're here is to review this caravan behind me, the very latest Monoblocco 2 by Perfect System. Now, Monoblocco 2, well, Frank Bataro, who's built these for three decades, well, you might guess it, he's Italian. And Monoblocco, well, that means one piece, and that's exactly what this all fiberglass caravan is. Apart from its sturdy 150 millimeter galvanized steel chassis and Cruise Master XT independent trailing arm suspension, this caravan is just about all fiberglass and in a unique way. The front clip, as it's called here, this whole front molding, the roof section and the bit that comes down the back are all a one piece fiberglass molding. What makes his construction technique unusual and without giving away his trade secrets is that the walls are actually quite thick. It's refrigerator insulation foam, very dense foam in between two fiberglass sandwich panels. What it really means for the person with the caravan is that the air spills over the side making it very economical. We towed this up to Seymour from Melbourne in an average 14 litres per 100k and this is a two and a half tonne empty van or around three tonnes fully laden. The other advantage of this technique is moisture can, can't penetrate this design so it won't rot, uh, it's very hail resistant and resistant to scratches, makes a very sturdy monoblocco one-piece construction and that's different to the jet monoblocco which preceded it. Where it's different is this monoblocco 2 has a full fiberglass front boot, a fiberglass covering for a front window whereas the jet, the previous one, had a full tunnel boot. In fact the jet had the first tunnel boot in Australia, uh, Frank Bataro tells me proudly. What I love about this Future System caravan is the fact that it's one man's work. Frank Bataro builds these things from start to finish and he works with his customers all the way. So if you buy one of these, it's your van. There's no question about it. And Frank and you have shared the journey all the way. But if you're planning to travel around Australia like new owners of this van, David and Irene are, then you want to see how they've set up the inside to make that trip really comfortable. Let's have a look. Having a caravan built to your own specification is you can have it just how you wanted. And this is just how David and Irene, particularly uh, Irene, wanted their caravan. And she designed the decor. She actually made the bedspread and these cushions to suit this velour seating and the Tasmanian oak hardwood furniture. And I think she's done a fantastic job. And it's offset by these very sturdy polycarbonate table and bench tops, which are largely scratch resistant and very stable. When you're building a van that's designed to go both on and off road at times, one thing you need is good solid cupboards and latches to keep them shut. And these positive latches are ideal because when the button is in, it's locked. You can see it at an instant. Tons of power points are out the van. Single ones are access the 1000 watt inverter, 12 volt appliances. The doubles are for 240 volt. Irene chose this three burner gas cooktop rather than a four burner one with, uh, with an electric hob because you don't use the electric part very much and she can then put a wok on this large burner. Irene decided to have two mirrors opposing each other so when she plugs her hair dryer, if she wishes, into her 1000 watt inverter she can actually do it here and see the back of it at the same time. How neat's that? And to make this caravan really comfortable for free caps, which is something its owners intend to do, there's ducted Wabasto diesel heating. Of course, no self-respecting caravan designed for uh, long distance touring these days would be complete without a washing machine. Headroom here is a bit of an issue if you're a, a giant like me. I'm seriously impressed with this future system Monoblock 02. It's a very different caravan to those many Australians are used to. Its full fiberglass construction offers a number of benefits in, in uh, uh, thermal values, aerodynamics. It is very solid. It is beautifully made, delightfully finished in many ways, and it can be built to your order. For just around $100,000, sounds a lot of money, but if this is your home, where you want to travel and capture all those memories in over the years ahead, it's a nice way to go. But you can read all about it in Caravan World magazine.